The Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. We're still over a month away from the big solar eclipse, the first one that will be crossing America since, what, 1918 or something like that. And Nashville happens to be in the path of it during its height. I've got friends who are actually making the trip to Nashville, or at least the Nashville area, so they can come by and see this three-minute, actually less than three-minute, episode happen in the middle of the day. Now, I realize it's something unique, different, and once in a lifetime, but I often wonder, what happens if it's a cloudy day? What happens if it's raining? We've had rain off and on all summer, and I'm thinking, I don't make plans for a week in advance, let alone a month in advance, especially when it comes to some outdoor activity that involves the weather. I know people are excited about this once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I guess if you don't make your plans ahead of time, well, you won't be able to catch the maximum effect. All this hoopla over three minutes of time. I'll probably just be sitting here working, doing whatever I do, and, oh, it got dark outside. Hope it's light again. Back to work. It's funny what excites us. I know some things excite me that don't excite other people, but the solar eclipse, I'll be honest, I just don't get it.